In travel trends, tips on how to plan a safecation, travel expert Lee Abomani lands on our show today with what you need to know. There seems to be an uptick in travel. For those who are looking to be on the move, what are your tips? Well, number one, I always tell people to consult the CDC um, considerations for up-to-date travel info and to take some responsibility, bring your own PPE kit, wear a mask, wash your hands, sanitize, socially distance, uh, choose an airline based upon their safety protocols, flexible booking, no change fees, which most of the airlines have these days, and use airline apps to choose seats with nobody next to you or at least nobody around you, uh, and be a little bit flexible in that maybe travel off-peak hours, early, late, maybe on a Saturday as opposed to a Friday, uh, to just be a little bit safer, a little bit more distant uh, in these challenging times. What should viewers look for when choosing accommodations? Well, I'm here at Wynn Las Vegas right now, and they have a health plan created in partnership with a team of infectious disease experts. And their protocols are clearly stated on their website, which makes you feel safe before you even arrive. On arrival, they have a thermal temperature scan, which again, makes you feel safe. Your room is sanitized and sealed so you know it's been treated. There's hand sanitizer stations all over the place. They're enforcing mask wearing, which again, makes me feel very comfortable. And people have been really responsible and considerate, and it's just been a really pleasant experience overall here at Wynn Las Vegas. Can you share a recent safe travel experience? Yeah, I mean, I've been traveling pretty much nonstop since mid-May, and I've been doing it safely and responsibly by just, again, taking responsibility for my own actions and going to places like Las Vegas, where there's a lot to do, uh, both outside and physical activities. So you can go climb a mountain, you can go play golf, you can be outside, be in nature, go to Lake Las Vegas and, and do things like this. So again, you can travel safely and get the feeling like you're going to Europe or something like that, but do it right here in your own backyard as long as you just take some precautions. Is it true you are the youngest person to travel to every country in the world? It actually is. And uh, yeah, I finished doing that a few years ago and uh, it's been pretty much nonstop since then actually too. That is amazing. Where can people find more information? Sure, check out uh, leahbamonte.com for more information on me and for more information on Win Las Vegas, go to winlasvegas.com. Thank you and safe travels to you. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.